Today is National Zoo Lovers Day, and to celebrate, we invited a few furry, scaly, hairy, uh, I guess that's that scaly, <laughs> uh, from Fresno Chaffee Zoo. And uh, we also have animals besides just Justin and I. Uh -huh. <laughs> so so uh, Mitchell is here along with Ethel the bald python, mm -hmm. Mabel the curly haired tarantula, and Giza the hedgehog. Mm -hmm. We'll bring Giza later when uh, Mabel is back safely <laughs> zipped up in her pillowcase. That makes a lot of sense. Right? I mean, that could be mm -hmm. kind of a thing, right? We would <laughs> so, go viral if the two were together, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they probably wouldn't get along. Yeah. No, okay. no. I'm, <laughs> All right. So tell us about the ball python. Absolutely. So uh, as you already introduced her, this is Ethel. Uh, she is one of our ball pythons at the zoo and she's one of our ambassador animals. So her whole job is to come out and educate the public, all of you, kids at the zoo, um, about herself and her species. What should we know about pythons? Uh, so she is full grown. This is about as big as she gets, and she is native to Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, so she likes to spend her time, uh, a bit of a mix, both up in the trees and down on the ground. Um, she is a great climber. As you can see, she mm. treats my arm kind of like a mm -hmm. tree branch. Um, but she uses those muscles also to catch her food. Uh, mm -hmm. And that food that she eats is a lot of times animals that we might consider pests. These guys are great pest control. Oh, uh, good. They really oh, help okay. us out, oh. uh, especially snakes here in Fresno. Uh, we have a lot of farmland, and snakes mm -hmm. do a wonderful job protecting that uh, from rodents and Something other animals. Something we all forget about. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now uh, how often does she need to feed? She only eats once every two weeks, so not a lot of meals. Oh, right. uh, a good rule of thumb for any snake is they'll eat something about as big as the widest part of their body. Mm. Okay, so she'll, she'll eat a rat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're okay. All right. And, and uh -huh. does, does her jaws open just like normal, or do they? They can open a bit wider than you might think. Uh, they have a special jaw that can stretch. Uh, so oh. when she opens that mouth, she can open it to be a bit wider than that widest part of her body. So yeah, that's kind of like Jim when someone brings <laughs> treats. All right, so uh, I'm going to have to ask that you put uh, her back in her zip so that we can take absolutely. out the other animals. And we'll go with the tarantula right now, uh, but um, I will not do it. We'll let Mitchell do it. <laughs> yeah, that's, and, that's um, probably it, safe. So but the scary, you know, we're, we're prone to think that they're really scary and venomous and killing machines, is that true? Not true. Um, most tarantulas are going to be pretty much harmless to people. Ah. Uh, they only want to go after smaller animals that they could eat themselves, so mostly bugs. Okay. Um, and they're really, they don't really have a whole lot to do to defend themselves even against bigger animals like us. I don't oh. they have something like this on them? They do have those uh, fangs, yeah. uh, but it's really only going to be able to affect a very small bug, much smaller okay. than their own body. And what about their hair? Can it get into your skin and cause a problem? Yeah, so that is their one big defense oh, against okay. bigger animals. Is if bad they, hair? What? <laughs> if they feel threatened, uh, they can actually kick their hair off of their backside up into the face of whatever oh. is attacking them. Uh, and each of those hairs has little tiny barbs on the end. So oh. it'll get in your face. It's not going to injure you, but it'll feel pretty itchy. It won't feel comfortable. Uh, and that's a great way for them uh, if something's trying to eat them uh, to get it right in their face mm. and they'll be left alone. They can run away with a little bald patch. Yeah, so I, I had an uncle who was a nudist, same trick. <laughs> so oh what, what you just mentioned there was kind of like what porcupines do. There's no relation, is there? No relation, uh, and that is actually question. a very common myth. Uh, porcupines cannot shoot their quills out. Oh. Uh, they they can release them, so they can get stuck in you, uh, but they have no way to actually send uh. them send them out. So cartoons have been lying to us all <laughs> this time. time. As they do. Yeah, As I, they do. I, and plus, I was absent that day at school. Yeah, fake, <laughs> fake news. Yeah. All right, so now we get to put the tarantula Absolutely. back in and bring out the hedgehog. Mm -hmm. I'll close you. this yeah, for close you. Close that quickly, please. <laughs> yeah, all right. And, and these are all animals that... Um, that are part of a special program at the zoo, right? Yes, exactly. So our ambassador animal collection, uh, they are in a new, uh, a new building at the zoo that we were able to get. Um, Thanks to Measure Z, collection. right? Yeah, in, in part to the Measure Z. It's been a really big impact at the zoo. Um, so they all have new living spaces. <laughs> this is our hedgehog, <laughs> Giza. Um, and they are completely behind the scenes. So most guests, when they visit the zoo, don't get to see these animals. Yeah. Uh, but they come out to 
things like this, education programs at school, birthday parties at the zoo, and all of those other things. What, what is that, uh, a maggot? <laughs> it's a that worm. That is a it's mealworm. Come uh, on. One of their favorite foods. Uh, these guys are insectivores. So they do uh, eat mostly okay, bugs. That's good. Giza might just want to explore a little bit before he decides he's going to get now, breakfast. Now, is Giza going to get any bigger? Giza might get just a little bit bigger. In fact, he's really young. He was okay. born at the zoo. Uh, so he was born just last year on August 4th. He's oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. days yeah. before my birthday. I do <laughs> know a little about uh, hedgehogs. They like uh, golden rings, but I forgot my wedding <laughs> ring today. These guys are definitely not quite as fast as hedgehogs like Sonic, oh. um, but they do roll <laughs> up into a ball. Uh, they actually have a really cool muscle. Um, if they feel threatened, they, they obviously have all those spines on their back, uh -huh. um, but they have a muscle uh, on their stomach that acts like a drawstring and will pull all the soft bits in oh. and be covered by all of those spines. That's Fascinating. Oh, wow. okay. okay. I, I need something that will pull <laughs> <my> <laughs> soft bits yeah. in. <laughs> Oh, Mitchell, thank you so much. Yeah, I know. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't blame you. I, I wouldn't eat it either, buddy. It's okay. Aww. <laughs> well, this has been so, yeah, much, so fun. much fun. We really yeah. appreciate the visit. And the education. Yeah. Absolutely. Anytime. Is there anything else you want us to know about the Fresno Chaffee Zoo before we say goodbye to you? Uh, I just always encourage, if you want to see more animals like Giza here before he runs away, <laughs> uh, come to the zoo and visit. There are so many more cool animals to, to visit and learn about. There's always people around to educate you as well. For sure. All right. Yeah. On, on any day, but especially National Zoo Lovers Day for sure. Thank you very much. Yeah, Mitchell, thanks a lot. Yeah. yeah, thanks for having me. All right.